join me just around the corner from Goodwood because this weekend we are filming one of the all-time bucket list cars I imagine for numerous people. Um, one of the greatest British cars, if not the greatest British car of all time. Of course, I mean the Series 1 Jaguar E-Type. Hard top 1963, this is my car for the weekend to do some filming. Lucy's on cam this weekend and this is down where she lives so she knows all the locations in and around Goodwood. We're currently on top of this lovely hill here and yeah it's going to be very cool to drive about in this thing. I had a corgi of one of these cars, I imagine many people watching this did. So it's pretty surreal to just have been throwing the keys to this for the weekend. It is by no means the easiest car to drive, but it probably shouldn't be when it's this pretty. And to be fair, it's nigh on 60 years old. If I look as good as this when I'm 60, I'll be very happy. Lucy with the goods. The lunge doesn't really match the car, does it? Thank you. I hope you can hear that, but I am currently standing beside my Jaguar E-Type for the weekend with the Goodwood Motor Circuit Spitfire going through the air. This weekend is incredibly British. It's been a quite chill shoot so far, we've made it so it's over two days, so weirdly I have some downtime so I'm going to head off to the golf course. My golf clubs have never been in a cooler place than that. We're going to be up early tomorrow filming again, so got some midnight snacks and a midnight fill up. I must admit it is very cool to be walking through the hotel car park with all these, I guess, normal cars in it and knowing that I'm walking up to that. Wow. Choke on fuel. Ignition on. Fuel pump prime. I've been told not to put my fuel on the clutch. And then just hold down the starter. quite left enough time for the fuel pump to send fuel to where it needs to go. Once you give it time, boom, she wakes up. Okay, now I need to slowly let off the choke as the engine wakes up and then head off to Lucy's house down on the coast. Day two is upon us. Should be quite quick today. There's something about the rear end of this car. Look at the shape of that wing. And then when you come right round, these iconic exhaust tips running underneath the car. 
if you're going to grunt something on a speed hump, sadly it's going to be those, but wow, are they beautiful. We literally have one more shot left to do, just get some nice audio of the engine, and then I'll be heading back home to London. I don't know what the car's going to be like in central London driving about. First and second gear are not going to be fun, and it's going to get sweaty, but do I care? Probably not. She is developing into a <laughs> top class videographer, but check out these lads. Wow. Please don't put it it's in your vlog. Are these like makeshift slippers or are these specific driveway shoes or what are these? I actually bought them for when I went paddle boarding. So I put them on with my wetsuit to go down to the water. They're easier than flip flops. So what you're saying is in the right circumstance they're actually quite cool but right now i mean they're never cool i'd never wear them in public but marks out of 10 people Finally, we're back at E-Type UK, so for one last time, switch off this amazing straight six engine. Thank you, E-Type UK.